All right, guys. Uh, so, bit weird. I've just finished today's video. Um, but I just want to let you know, watch to the end because some crazy stuff happens. And also, this view right here, I just had to share it. It just looks incredible. It's so scenic. This game is great. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, hit like button, subscribe for future videos. And uh, without further ado, here is today's video. Enjoy. All right, let's see what the alien ships have in store for us today. It's another day of the IAE 2952, the War at Home Expo. And uh, if you don't know, we're kind of going through all the different... Hello, elevator, please. Kind of going through all the different um, manufacturers. And today, we've got a collection of alien ship manufacturers. So we are in the Zenith Hall today. Lovely. Wait, that says Drake. That's okay, right? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe it was saying Drake is the sponsor, but here we go. All the different manufacturers. It's really cool. I specifically love alien ships, like I say, because they kind of offer something completely different. Like a lot of the human manufacturers and stuff are somewhat similar, but here we go. Oh, my word. What a presentation. Damn. So we've got the Bennu Defender. Oh, my word. I've done videos on, I think everything here i think well uh, i'll put connotation so first of all i think it was one of my earlier videos actually the blade uh which is a freaking vandal ship well technically this is a reproduction of a vandal ship but i just really got to show you this because when you get inside it is a treat to behold and this whole red aesthetic fits very well but there's so much detail in this ship and especially the uh, Prowler, which we'll get onto in a minute. Everything's red. It's so cool. It's just such a cool looking ship. Good combat. One pilot uh, person ship. And also, it's kind of unique because you kind of lay on your front. In fact, let me see. If I get out here, you might be able to see it. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> kind of lay on your front. It's so weird. Anyway, uh, let's continue. Well, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, so yeah, the Banu Defender, which is kind of like the crab of Star Citizen, and um, it's in it's got gold, but it's kind of weird and unique because one, it's fitted with uh, distortion repeaters to begin with, but second of all, it's kind of got two sides to it. So you have this side, if it will open, there we go, pilot, and then on this side, you also have another uh, kind of co-pilot spot, which is kind of weird. You do have habitation as well, a bit of cargo space. So it's a pretty neat ship, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's very good combat-wise. does a lot of damage if you fit it out right. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, next up in the center of the hall, you've got the beautiful Prowler. This ship, I think, is one of my favorites. It's a drop ship. And um, the reason why I love it so much, if I can... Yeah, someone's left it open. Sweet. Is all this intricate detail inside. Look at this. Oh my word. And the red glow of the Drake Expo really, really does it justice. But yeah, it's really cool, actually. Kind of whoop. Dropship. Kind of uh, tells you everything you need to know. Uh, you've got the Talon and the Talon Shrike, uh, which are kind of, honestly, really good Falcon. They look like Falcons, which is kind of cool. But I found that they're okay for what they do, but there are better fighters out there. So these are more, I guess, hang on, let's get a nice camera angle for checking out these ships. Uh, this is more of like an aesthetic choice if you're going to go with it. Uh, but actually, it does have one of the coolest entries into a ship in the game, I think. Look at this. This is, oh, actually, I don't know if this will work. Because I don't know if you can turn on the ships. Basically, it has the weird Titanfall animation when you get in it. And if you've never seen it before, it's about to blow your mind. It made me so excited when I saw it for the first time. But it kind of lifts you up in this kind of thing like that. <laughs> and then... Oh, wait. Did it already do it then? Hang on. Oh, no. That's the... Wait. What? It didn't show me the animation. Can I turn it off? Maybe they've left it on the whole time. Ah. Anyway, you'll have to go and watch that video if you want to go see that animation, I guess. But you'll have to, yeah, you'll have to believe me. That is very cool. And then we have this ship, which I really like using. 
Um, I think it's getting a rework, and I believe uh, this is quite an old ship in terms of like when it was made. But this is called the Glaive, and it I think is going to get reworked to look like the Blade, the first ship we looked at, that one over there. So imagine this, because this is the bigger brother of the Blade, I suppose. But in that styling. I cannot wait until that comes out. That'll be awesome. Also, I don't believe you can buy this ship. Can you rent it? You can! That's pretty cool, because I, I don't think you can actually buy it, so that's pretty neat. And then we've got, where is it? Over here, other side of the hall? I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. This weird, <laughs> amazing ship, which is actually really good at combat. It's probably one of the better one-on-one -on -one fighters in terms of maneuverability. That's my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's kind of all amazing shapes and... It sounds really dumb to say, but it's all very alien, you know? Look at that. Oh, glass animations and stuff. And look, you've got the two orbs to move the ship around. Uh, which looks amazing. Look at this. So I think... Is it going to let me do it? Yeah, look. Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> so that's how you move it and stuff. Super cool ship. Love it. Right, so downstairs... Uh, I'm expecting quite a lot down here, actually, because... Weird, it's called Jian Scout. Interesting. Uh, oh, we got the Nox. A little hover bike here. Very nicely displayed. Um, had a recent accident with one of these. <laughs> uh, check out the channel for that video, I suppose. Uh, what's on the other side here? Seating area, looks like. Yes. And then into the concept hall, I suppose. Uh, with the holograms. We've got a few things. Ooh, the weird cube thing. Wait a minute. How did they get in there? Okay, that is the weirdest thing. <laughs> what? How? Oh! I'm part of the part. Okay, alright, someone forgot the geometry on that one. That's so weird. Neat. Oh, it's kind of trippy. It's kind of like not loading in properly. <laughs> so weird. Wait, let's get out of here. Oh my god, can you imagine if I couldn't get out after that? Yeah, so I believe this is a cargo ship, and it looks pretty small here, but I believe it's actually quite big. So that is a manned turret right there. Um, and I believe back here is like compartments, like habitation and things like that. So it's quite a big ship. Uh, that's pretty cool. But I'm looking forward to that one coming out. I think... Um, I know they're definitely working on that. I don't know if it's coming out anytime soon. Oh, sore spot for this one. <laughs> I know this one is in development or has been in development. Is this one open as well? No. So this is the Banu Merchantman here. And they have, well, I was watching a video recently and it seemed like they've done a lot of it, but it's kind of on hold at the moment, uh, which is a huge shame because I actually got this ship um, sort of ordered, uh, and like I've, I've purchased it, so I'm really looking forward to doing a video on it when it does come out, uh, but as far as I, well, the impression I got anyway, was they've done a lot of this ship, but it still has a lot to do, and they are not putting this on the back burner, but it's like production has slowed down on it, so I don't think it's coming anytime soon, maybe? I don't know, um... At least that's the impression I got, but I'm very, very excited to get the Banu Merchman. If you don't know, it's a huge capital ship. It's massive, and uh, it's like all about trade and market and the Banu. Pretty neat. And then we've got this little scout ship, which I've seen quite a few times. Kind of a similar glass single pilot seater thing that we've seen before. Uh, looks pretty neat. Kind of transforms this fighter or... Yeah, you've got pretty big weapons on it, actually, so... Very cool. Don't know when that's coming out. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. But yeah, pretty exciting stuff. Really nice concept ships on the way. Man, sad about the uh, Banu Merchantman. That's really sad. But hopefully, it'll be coming soon. Hopefully. Oh, hold on a minute. Is this... This can't be it. Is there really no more... We need to find a map. I think that's it, guys. Which is weird, because there's definitely more... <laughs> Alien ships that they haven't shown here and if that's the case, I've got it and I'll get it out and I'll show you myself uh, It's a terrible ship <laughs> uh, 
in the sense that it flies like an absolute potato, but damn, it is the only one. Um, wow. Okay. I'll be honest, today's a bit of a quiet show, but like I say, there is one more to show you, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's go and show it to you. No, 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 no way. <laughs> no, this, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, I need to go off. Oh my god, that is the funniest thing I think I've ever seen. What? Bro! What happened to your hand? <laughs> oh my word, that is good stuff. There's always something! Okay, so, uh, let's see here. I believe it's the last one on my list. Uh, so all the way down here, the Vandal Scythe. Yes, you can't get away from me, Star Citizen. All right, this ship, okay, honestly flies like an absolute potato. At least in atmosphere. To be fair, I've never actually tried to fly it out. Whoa, that's intimidating. Uh, Hangar 10. But I don't know why it wasn't at the expo. Maybe a manufacturer hasn't actually released it, like a replica. Therefore, it's only in sort of vandal form. So this is actually a vandal ship. Now that's cool. So this is a vandal scythe, and it's kind of like, you, you might look at it and go, huh, that looks familiar. So it's basically the glaive, right? But it's like half of it. Um, and as you can tell, you might not, <laughs> you might not get the aerodynamics needed to fly smoothly. Obviously the vandal, um, only fly in space. I don't know. Ooh, I never noticed the gold there before. That's kind of sweet. Oh yes. Kind of a nice ship, honestly. I do like it. It's actually been a while since I've been in this ship, but yeah, as you can see, kind of all this kind of beautiful chrome, and it's half a glaive. <laughs> right, let's take it out. Whoop! Wow, those engines look insane. Can I engine? There we go. Unfolds, and again, looks a little bit weird because. I mean, you've got a gun hanging off down to the left, and then you've got the right wing. It's just a bit strange. I love it. I think it's cool, but <laughs> it's uh, it's a little bit different, you know. You are clear to launch. You are clear to launch. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. That was uh, a little sensitive. Here we go. So we've got two weapons to fire. Let's take it out for a spin, shall we? Give it a go. <laughs> Ready, launch! Oh my word, look at that view, holy! <laughs> Alright, so if I remember, it's really weird to fly. Yeah, I'm holding just straight now. Look at this view, oh my word, I will say visibility in this view is absolutely amazing. Alright, I'm just holding forward right now. I'm just holding forward. I can maybe this is why they didn't want to share it. I think just the aerodynamics like in atmosphere are not great. Oh man, it's weird, isn't it? Oh, there's a uh Whoa, look at that view! No, don't ruin it. It's an 890 jump here. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. Hey dude. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Damn, that's a cool bit of gameplay. Look at this. Hey, dude. <laughs> Neat. Whoa, nice. All right, okay. So that's enough playing around with an 890 jump. Let's uh, take this out into space without atmosphere and see how we get on with a bit of combat, shall we? I think that might be quite fun. All right, just before I find you a mission to watch me go and uh, probably fail at, <laughs> let's show what the weapons that we've got here. So we've got, they're both kind of energy weapons. They don't seem it, but we've got the two at the front here. Oh no, sorry, wrong button. There we go. And then we've got two massive lasers, laser cannons, which look awesome and also make a great noise. So yeah, I'm assuming this is a pretty good 
medium fighter from Vandal. It doesn't, um, <laughs> it doesn't perform, it doesn't look like it will be very, uh, heavy duty. It's not going to take too much, um, damage, if you like. It's not going to survive that long. But, um, yeah, let's find a little mission here. <laughs> okay, so annoyingly, I can't really seem to get a bounty that's in space. I seem to always get them on moons and planets. So I guess this will be a good demonstration on how difficult this can be. Um, <laughs> which will be good, uh, I, I think. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is going to be tricky. I'll see you guys when we get there. Quantum travel complete. Even the announcer is a little bit alien. Love it. I kind of love the fact that... Whoa, look at this. Oh, man. That is cool. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Mayday. Um, are we good? Is that the ground? Yeah. Can't actually tell what's the ground. Got 2,000 meters away. Oh, my word. Uh, this is really hard to tell. Oh, there we go. Into the clouds now. Oh, my word. That looks so, like, dark and evil. Look at that. <laughs> looks great. Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? What's the plan? It's over this way. Uh, okay. Not Wait, 96 kilometers away? Are you having a giraffe? I've got to fly this for 96 kilometers. Might genuinely run out of fuel by the time we get there. Also, check this out. Ready? Oh my word, I love the fact you can see the weapons. Oh my word, I can't even... That's me trying to fly straight. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so that was me trying to fly straight. Okay. All right. By the way, I'm. It really annoys me. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Can people please stop emailing me and tweeting at me and leaving comments saying I've got my speed limiter on when I don't? Look at the difference in the square. Okay. Not all square. No speed limiter. It could be down here. It doesn't make a difference. People keep. I'm not joking. People keep emailing me, messaging me, saying, "Bro, your speed limiter is on. I wish you'd learn how to fly." And I'm like, "Bro, I wish you'd learn the game." <laughs> I've just realized, I've realized as well, that now this ship was already not symmetrical, but look, who designed this ship? I need a conversation with this person. Why? <laughs> even, even that part of the ship is not in the middle. I'm sure there's an aerodynamic reason why that is like that, but that, does that not trigger anybody else? Chaos, this ship, absolute chaos. Oh, man, I just accidentally fired my missiles, and now I only have four. Great. That was actually my go-to plan. That was actually my strategy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. All right, here we go. What we got? Ooh. All right, missile locked. Fire! All right, that's literally all I've got in terms of missiles. So, hopefully that was enough. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that was enough. Brilliant. I wonder if it'll let me kill this guy. Whoa. That was kind of... That was a bit of jousty. Oh, my word. This is... I feel so evil right now, you know. It's got a good vibe to it. Oh, what a hit! Oh! <laughs> oh, man, that laser snipe looked awesome. Dude. Oh, I gotta get me some more of that. That was cool. Okay, so here we are. Um, I've gotta be honest, this visual right now is absolutely incredible. It looks amazing. I say this all the time, but holy moly, does it look good. And it is but a pleasure to die here. Because <laughs> let's not joke around. I will struggle with this. Even though this is going to be a pretty easy target. One, I don't have any missiles. And two, I have to fly pretty slow in atmosphere in this ship. 
So yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Um, although I do seem to have quite a good firepower, so we'll, we'll see how we get on. I did seem to take on that Delta pretty easily. I don't know. What do you reckon, guys? In chat, let me know how you thought I was going to get on and how I actually got on. <laughs> I'd be curious to know how you thought, what you thought of my performance here. But we'll give it a go. We'll see how we get on. It's going to be interesting. Got a lock 60 FPS now as well. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Alright, so how many... Oh, a Gladius? Oh my word. I'm actually going to struggle here, guys. Genuinely. Oh my word. They're firing missiles. Oh no. They're, f they're doing all sorts. Okay. Alright. First little joust there. Whoa. Did he catch fire there or something? I heard some explosions. Oh god. This is... No. Oh. Whoa. Um, I think, <laughs> wait, no, 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 oh my word, I think he may have crashed into me and exploded, uh, yes, I know you can't tell, but I've definitely lost half of my ship right now, I think I lost my weapon, um, okay, I mean, that's a strategy, oh god, we, we've got shields and everything, so we're good. Um, let's target this guy here. See if we can do the bounty. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> did I... Hmm. Did I ca kamikaze that guy? Or did he kamikaze me? I'm not sure what's going on! Oh, yes, yeah, so I only have... Oh, that's hilarious. Wait, let's see. Whoa! Oh my goodness, did you hear that? That? Okay, I don't know what just happened. But apparently, the Vandal want me to sign up. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened here, folks. Please get in the comment section and let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hmm. That went well, actually. That was not too bad.